Hello and welcome to my latest Helium video and this one covers all the new changes and features added to version 1.27. So let's take a closer look. Now what you can see here is a demo of stacking and we recently added that to Neon and uh, it's it's great for queuing up and syncing uh, different uh, instances of Neon and I did mention in my previous video that that will be coming to Helium and I also mentioned that I wanted to actually uh, bring some common interface between the two apps so 1.27 uh, has the first iteration of stacking and that allows uh, manual launch mode and I want to demonstrate that today So let's take a closer look at the implementation in Helium. As you can see here, we have three stacked versions of Helium, each with its own MIDI track. Now I'm just going to turn on the metronome here so we can hear what's happening because I'm going to cue these one at a time and you'll see that they're actually synced and will start at the next measure. Now when you turn off the launch button they actually stop also at the next measure. Now that's also something we can set up in uh, the launch option menu which I'm going to show you uh, right now. Now if you uh, click on uh, Helium's hamburger menu uh, you'll see that inside here now we have a launch button option sub menu. So within this submenu we have the ability to quantize to a beat rather than a bar if we require that. But the thing I want to focus on is this synchro start option which has uh, exclusive and inclusive modes. Now I'm going to turn inclusive on and it will ask me whether I want to set that for all instances. Now if we launch the first instance you'll notice all other instances are included because we're in inclusive mode. So this is the option you would choose if you wanted to start several instances at the same time. And again, if you remember from that previous menu, we had a quantize option, which we can set to uh, immediate, bar or beat. Now I'm going to try exclusive mode. And as you've probably guessed, this allows only one instance to run at any one time. So it will uh, start a new instance and stop all other instances in the stack. So let's step through each instance and see how they are queued. So that's just a basic outline of the new stacking feature in Helium, but there's plenty of other things we've added too. Now one of the really nice things about Helium is the ability to construct songs out of loops. It's much easier to work with loops than it is to work with a linear timeline and have to shuffle everything around. So essentially we turn on a remote mode and use this define loops dialog to define uh, areas within our uh, timeline that, uh, that, that specify these loops. Uh, and then once we have a number of loops and we're happy with those, we can turn on song mode and we can lay down this uh, song uh, uh, track, which is just a, a series of loops laid on a timeline. Now while this song is playing, it's a good time to point out something that's changed within the mixer. Uh, we now have visual feedback uh, within the mixer view uh, of what is actually playing. So if you look just under the title of each uh, element, each track, 
uh, we, we can see now that it lights up to it signify which tracks are playing and if we tap on those uh, uh, titles as well we can switch tracks now so it's very easy to follow the progress of a song from the mixer view so that's one new thing that's been added to version 1.27 now in the past this mixer has been used to control relative volumes of each of the 16 tracks but I think now it's uh, it's a great way to uh, to move between the tracks and see what's playing also the fader levels have also now default to 100% for each track on version 1.27 so once you've got a completed song, it's not really in a format that any other package can use. So we now have this flattened song option, which uh, once flattened creates a linear MIDI uh, file. So we can export that now and then import that into some other uh, package. You can always press the undo button to get back uh, your original song afterwards. Now another new addition to 1.27 is the new selection mode. Now, traditionally, if you are used to Helium, you'll know that if you select individual notes, then those notes are added to the selection. Um, you could drag selections or tap on notes and there would be the selection will be added to. You had to physically click in a blank space in the editor to uh, deselect notes. But now if you long press on the selection button, you have a selection mode option which allows you to select uh, replace as a selection mode. Now when replace is selected, any uh, additional notes you select will replace the, the existing selection. So as you can see here, if I dra drag a selection, it replaces what went before. And this mode is much easier for selecting individual notes. So now I want to take a look at the additional uh, swipe shortcuts that have been added to Helium and we will also be adding to Neon. Now any interface button uh, or toolbar button that has a chevron in the top left corner uh, signifies that there is additional functionality, an additional toolbar or menu when you long press that button. But you'll also notice that there are two different colours uh, of chevron, uh, one blue and one grey. And the blue chevron indicates there's also a swipe feature associated with that button. Now in order to demonstrate this, I'm going to make a selection by long pressing the loop button. Now that not only turns on loop mode, but it also selects every note within the track. Now in previous versions, we've always been able to select the clipboard button and pick the replicate option, which essentially duplicates the loop. But in this new version 1.27, uh, we can simply just swipe right on the clipboard button and it will do a, an auto replicate. Now if I hit the undo button, which also if you notice has a blue chevron, when I swipe right on that it does a redo. So press it for undo, swipe for redo. So any button you see with a blue chevron has something like this, it's a default function that is hidden away behind that, uh, behind that button. So on the left hand side of the toolbar you swipe right for the function on the toolbar buttons at the top you swipe down so for instance swiping down on the remote button opens up the uh, define loops uh, window uh, swiping down on the loop icon selects everything under the loop uh, swipe down on the record button opens the multi-take dialog a swipe down and quantize will turn quantize off and then a swipe down again will actually return to the previous setting and the same also goes for the grid setting you can change time mode by swiping down on the beat time button swiping right on the select button uh, toggles the selection mode which i showed you earlier and finally you can solo a track by swiping right on the uh, track button so it, you get the idea i think and we're going to be introducing more of those over time now we recently added a global transpose function which allowed you to transpose uh, all outgoing MIDI data. And uh, you can now access that by long pressing the play button. And uh, if you do so you actually get a, the ability to transpose uh, up and down by a, a given number of semitones. Now that functionality is also available uh, via MIDI. So if you look in settings now 
you can specify a controller which can be used to uh, remote control the uh, transpose function of the of the editor of helium so that just about covers all the new features that we've added to 1.27 i'm going to play out the video with a short uh, musical piece from uh, greg Riker. thanks greg and uh, uh, this demonstrates uh, the new stacking mode with helium so for now i want to say thanks for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and thumb up this video i'll see you next time